Let's look at our homework for the week. We have some uh, we have some doozies on here, so let's let's get started. We're looking at unit five, starting on lesson thirteen, and uh, we have a coffee maker. And its directions say to use two tablespoons of the coffee, ground coffee, for every six ounces of water. So how much coffee should we use for 33 ounces of water? This is a straight up proportional relationship. Okay, coffee, another F in there, uh, coffee versus water. And for uh, the coffee, you need two tablespoons for every six ounces. So that gives you a proportional relationship with a constant of three. And so if you have 33 ounces of water, you wanted to go backwards, you would divide by three. And that's 11. So number 1A is 11. A, running, a runner is running. 10 kilometer race takes them 17 and a half minutes to reach the two and a half kilometer mark. At that rate, how long will it take to run the whole race? So it's another proportional relationship. You have uh, kilometers and minutes. So minutes and kilometers. It took them 17.5 <clears throat> to get to the two and a half kilometer mark. So we really want to know the relationship that's happening here. Uh, to run the whole race would be 10 kilometers. So. Uh, it would be nice to know the constant going this way. That way we could just multiply by it and get from 10 to the minutes. So to find that, we could just do 2.5 divided into 17.5. So 2.5 divided into 17.5. Think of it as 25. And that makes that pretty easy. I mean, count by 25s. It takes 4 to get to 100. And then 3 more to get to 75. So 4 plus 3, this is just 7. So... Your constant is 7, and we would expect it uh, to take 70 minutes to run that entire race. So 70 minutes, because 10 times 7 is 70. And there we go. Here's the first part. Let's see how we're doing on time. All right, we're only two minutes in, so we should be able to knock out number two as well. Uh, number two says the price of an ice cream cone is $3.25, but it cost $3.51 with tax. What is the sales tax rate? All right, you can use a calculator on this one. All right, if you were kind of depriving yourself there, uh, you have the price, and then you have the price with tax, and so uh, the price was 325, and the price with the tax was higher. So they multiplied by a constant that made it grow, and that constant will tell us a lot about uh, this this relationship. Hey, what's up, Ava? I'll pause. Uh, do you have any protractors? We just need that Alright, sorry about that. Ava needed to borrow some protractors for science class. I guess you guys were using them in science. Anyway, we need to find the constant here, so we need to divide 3.51 by 3.25. I'm doing that on my calculator. I get 1.08. So, that should tell you a little bit about what the tax was. Um, this is equivalent to 108%. So the tax isn't 108%, it's the extra 8% that they added on to it. So this was an 8% sales tax for number two. Okay, I know that we did a lot of those with double number lines and you can still think of it like that. Uh, zero and zero. And uh, the, the total price was 325 at 100%. And then we were just trying to find what percent 351 was at. You could have set it up like that, cross, multiply, and divide. You would have got 108, just like we did over here. Um, you just would have had to decipher that that was an extra 8% tacked on. Okay, so 8% tax. And that finishes number two.